Hi everybody, this is Axe Reacts, and welcome back to another fairy tale reaction. Today we are going to be reacting to episodes 187 and 188 today. We're just going to be doing these two. Uh, like I said in my last video, guys, please let me know down below in the comments uh, if you're enjoying having three episodes in a video or two or if you'd like one video per episode or things like that. I'm open to suggestions, so I'm uh, eager to hear a little bit of feedback on that. Uh, where we left off, guys, was having the Grand Magic game still going on, and it looks like we finally are going to be having all the remaining battles starting to clash at once. Uh, everyone kind of met up in the last episode. Some of the battles started briefly, uh, but it looks like they're finally going to be all inter looting, intercutting between each battle, if I have to guess. Uh, we have Minerva, uh, Minerva and Urza battling. We have uh, Gray and Leon battling, and Shelly and Juvia battling, and that looks like it's going to be a two-on-two -two at this point. We have Loxus battling the other two uh, big guys, I'm blanking on their names, uh, but that'll be a pretty crazy triple threat match, I have to guess. Uh, and then I believe we have Gajil and Rogue battling. Now, the only unknown factor to me still is... Um, Sting. I don't know what Sting's up to. They, the last time you saw him, he was kind of off on some little alley and just kind of sitting down, telling everybody, or telling himself, I guess I should say, that he has some plan to you know, to win, and he's going to win for Lecter and get Lecter back and all that stuff. So we don't know what's going on with him. I'm expecting maybe in one of these episodes to have some big surprise sneak attack from Sting. Um, so we'll see if that's actually going to happen or not. Um, and like I've been saying, guys, all along, Fairy Tale, I'm really expecting them to win the games. But as far as how they win, that's up for debate. It, whether or not each of the Fairy Tale members win their individual matches, that's up for debate too. Uh, I can't guarantee that anyone's going to win their match because there's the leaders, and the leaders get you get more points for defeating a leader. So one of the fairy tale members might lose and then one of them other fairy tale members might win and defeat the leader and get the extra points they needed so these battles guys are very engaging uh just because i don't know what's going to happen <laughs> so i'm very excited to to keep going and move along with that uh we have on the other side of the coin guys future lucy it looks like she's finally awake finally going to give us some answers about what's going on with her and where she came from and all the details of that why she's here in this current time so uh without further ado guys let's get started let's uh please give this video guys a like if you haven't yet and uh let me know again your favorite parts of these episodes down below so thanks for hanging out with me today and let's get started hey, Lucy, you feel all right so we're back to future lucy waking up not, not sure. still really sure yeah. why she fainted in the first place just exhaustion or something like that i'm assuming Gajul and Rogue are getting their their match started. Well, this got boring in a hurry. Okay, and this was the end of the last episode where Gajul kind of just walks away, and I'm thinking, like, this is part of the match. Like, you have to defeat him for points. Why are you giving up and walking away? <laughs> so, you don't I don't know why. But, yeah, Rogue uh, yeah, calls him out, saying, you are not as good as not to, and that is the button to push that just sets Gajo off. I'm expecting a pretty big battle now with that. So like I've been saying all along guys, uh it's anyone's it's anyone's game. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Uh very eager. So if you guys are new to Fairy Tale watching this with me, thank you so much for hanging out. And if you are a longtime Fairy Tale fan, I'm hoping that you're enjoying my experience of seeing this for the first time. Um, I'm enjoying myself quite a bit recording these reactions and having some fun with this. So thank you so much for all of your support. Um, yeah, these credits, just like I've been, I said last time, like Future Lucy was right there all along, and I had no idea, no idea. So Jalal, he's still uh, don't really know what's going on with him. He's kind of talking off to the side with the other two. These uh, credits are showing the Executioner battle that was down in the prison maze. And that's over with. They all got defeated. So it looks like, yeah, Lox's battle, that triple threat. A few more things like haven't happened yet. And then this four on four, or two on two, I should say, uh, of these four. So a few more things of these credits uh, that have not come to pass yet. But looking, it's... Pretty close, like we've seen all of this stuff happen so far. All right, I am ready. Let's go. To make matters worse, we're going to be stuck behind bars until it happens. Our worst nightmares are about to come to life. 
Come on, tell us. A tell us, Lucy. More than 10,000 dragons are going to attack the kingdom. The city will burn. The castle will fall. And countless lives are going to be lost. 10,000 dragons. It's a lot of dragons. <laughs> This princess here knows that as well. Dragon. She's been having some informant. That's what I was told, but to be honest, I find it hard to believe. And she, yeah, she's very what skeptical believed? of what Not future Lucy has seen. Magic games play out. But I guess whoever the informant is, along with saying these dragons are coming, they predicted this crazy outcome of the games that nobody would have ever guessed. So the princess, yeah, is waiting for. The game's to end this crazy way that was predicted, and if that happens, then she goes, okay, this informant is actually telling the truth, and I'm going to believe them about these other dragons coming. Seriously, they're going to rip us apart! Pipe down! You think we could sense that many dragons? It's possible we haven't noticed them because they're laying low waiting for the perfect time to strike. It's just that I honestly didn't think you were going to believe me. I'm surprised, that's all. You're one of us, which means we don't have any reason to doubt you. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me, if I'm not mistaken, we're still inside the castle when the dragons attack. What happens to us? You all die. They've only ever showed Natsu and Lucy in this I don't think I know. flash forward future setting. You don't think we're gonna end up goners? Oh my. I have to assume no, be right. they're all gonna be done. Once again we bring misfortune to everyone around me. Okay, here we go. A little flashback. Flash forward, maybe, I should say. I'm still, like, these dragons, I'm curious if they're going to still somehow come from the past. Like, Eclipse is all about going in 400 years in the past during this dragon battle and during, like, this whole fight with Zareth. And... What's to stop them from trying that and having those dragons come into the present? So that's been my little hunch all along. I have no idea if that's correct or not. But no. otherwise, like, where have these ten thousand dragons been all along, all this time? What are they doing right now? If they're just sitting around, I'm waiting? Like, why are they waiting till July seventh? So many questions. So many I questions. Had no choice but to use the eclipse. I had no idea how to operate it, but I was somehow able to get it open. I was determined to go back in time and warn someone. And then suddenly it was July 4th of the year 791. Hey, wait a second. But that was just a few days ago. It all makes sense now. This girl is the mysterious person from the future who advised the princess. Something's not right. I can feel it. If you make it out of the castle, you'll need to rendezvous with Jalal. But be careful because there are lacrimas all over the city monitoring the games. That means you'll have to take an underground route to meet with him. How is he involved? I've explained everything to him as best I can. I'm sure that he's busy coming up with a plan as we speak. Why is he coming up with a plan? It's my fault. I'm really sorry. I probably should have come here with some sort of strategy. Princess, did you say from the future? Yes. I know it sounds insane, but hear me out. They said there's another way to use the gate. They called it Eclipse 2. There is? What does it entail? I don't know if you are aware of this, but for the last seven years, we've used the games to store magic power within this gate. The magic we've accumulated within that time is now as powerful as an Ethereon blast. What? Hmm? It's on par with the sacred light of the Magic Council? So many connections. The se seven years they've been collecting power, seven years since Tendril Island, and the vanishing of all fairy tale members on the island. So many connections. I don't understand. She's got to be the one who told the princess about the eclipse, too. Which means she's lying about arriving on the fourth. Why would she choose to deceive Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I'm really sorry. Uh, the, or if, if it's not her I and somebody else I know I came back. Oh, I, I 
that opens up a whole thing. I don't even know, guys. Like, they're not flat out saying that Lucy's the informant. That's just Arcadio's guess. There's no need for you to apologize. Uh, it, to me, it's either Lucy or Jalal. Like, maybe she, Lu Lucy told Jalal, future Lucy told Jalal, and then Jalal tells the princess. I'd like to thank you. You risked your life for us, for our future. <laughs> a touching moment here. We're going to find a way to stop him. You just watch. wonder if she's seen future Natsu just die in an attempt to stop true. them. Oh, come if she on. was the last one. You don't honestly think Lucy could be lying to us. Why would she do such a thing? More than 10,000 dragons. The eclipse. That strange magic power. Pieces of the puzzle just don't fit together. I'm not sure whether this Lucy's words are false, or whether her entire being is actually a fabrication. Oh, so many questions. Oh, <laughs> oh man, my ears must be playing tricks on me. Could have swore you said I'm not as strong as Natsu. I'm so lost. I have no idea what I've been fighting for all this time. I've realized that friendship is what makes your guild so powerful. That's why we never measured up. The only exceptions are Milady, who's unbelievably strong, and Sting, whose true power awoke for Lecter's sake. Dumbass. That's the biggest load of bull I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> sure looks like you've got a friend to me. That frog. What frog? Hey, oh, okay, there's why mean. we have this episode Fruit called Frog. Well, I was thinking it was going to be this uh, Xy here. No, you're right. Froche is my friend. <laughs> your best friend. Thanks for reminding me of that. Where is that voice coming from? Uh, you okay, kid? Rogue. You must kill Gajil. Who are you? And why can't I see you? You have to kill him. It is your destiny. That's right. I am your shadow. What? I'll lend you my strength. Now go and strike him down. That is creepy. Creepy, creepy. Oh. So that was cool to learn a little bit about Rogue and his uh his history slightly. Like you want to tell us how you knew about this underground path? He's been saying all along he's been wanting to battle Gajiel and test himself against well Gajiel. Yes. Never got that chance cuz not to kind of shove him down the mine chute, but Oh. The Royal Army? I swear I didn't know they were stationed here, you guys. What do we do? We show them who's boss. Colonel Arcadios is missing. Yukino's gone too. What? But they were both right behind us just a second ago. They're up to Arcadios something. Arcadios is one thing, but we can't leave Yukino. They're gone. They're done. <laughs> Not much of a contest here. Please be careful, Mira. I hope you can know okay. What the hell's gotten into you? I'll lend you my strength. Gajil! What brought that on all of a sudden? I don't know. Did he say something to offend him? You don't want to mess with me. Shadow powers. This is the kind of power that we can wield together, Rogue. So let us strike him down without any more hesitation. Who are you? Who am I? One who controls destiny. A shadow. What kind of nonsensical crap is that? Oh. He's been possessed by someone or something. What? But Gajil grabbed him and 
So I'm torn if like I'm still a little fuzzy on Rogue's powers. I, I if they showed it before, I can't really remember if he's always had some kind of shadowy powers or if this is a whole new thing. Does he has he relied on the shadow powers before, or has he been sp speaking to his shadow before, or is this completely new? And this shadow being is like suddenly like trying to take over, and this caused some problems. And I, do. I don't know. I don't know. Calm down. The future Lucy has been caught in the fighting, so we must tread carefully. As long as Natsu's group is with her, there's no need to act rashly. Be careful, Woosie. I'll be fine. Hey, uh, sorry for the wait, gentlemen. Not you again. We don't need your help. Yeah, get lost, you dolphin-loving freak. Ugh. Who are you busting in here? I swear, I wasn't on purpose. Who am I? Oh, jeez. The <laughs> soldier the Kingdom of Fiore has to offer. And he's really heavy. What is the deal with this guy? Do you think he's a wizard? Or is he a celestial spirit? You were headed to your worst, a warrior like me ain't afraid of a little fire. Jesus, went fucking! Fire, dragon, iron, bat! What a terrible thing! See you later, dolphin man. <laughs> a little bit fillery. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's hard to believe that I once looked up to you. How pathetic. Ooh, frog's gonna come, Frosh. He's gonna but make us uh, make rogue, I should say. Um, it won't be long see the error of his ways, and this is way. not how to Once win a fight. Win a fight. This world will be free of you. Is You'll my guess. Forced to sleep in eternal darkness. <laughs> oh, faking it. Salamander can pull it off, and I sure as hell can too. What? Oh man. His name ain't Rogue, it's Laios, and he's my sworn brother. You can say you looked up to me all you want. But you know as well as I do that ain't the truth, as I wasn't that kind of guy back then. Be honest with yourself. You didn't look up to me. You feared me. I was never afraid. Maybe you forgot, because I'm such a nice guy these days. But I'll make you remember Oh my goodness. Fear. I don't believe it. An iron shadow dragon? Wow. Ooh, that's creepy looking. <sighs> Alright, well let's move on guys. I gotta see what happens with this battle. Uh, let's let's keep going. Alright, moving on with 188. And we have Gajul looking pretty crazy. They said that he's a shadow. Shadow. Yeah, Iron oh. Shadow Dragon. <laughs> I have no idea. Pretty creepy. Has he always been able to use two attributes like this? This definitely wasn't a part of my strategy, but it will help us. All right, that was another question I had. Uh, how much of this was part of Mavis's grand plan, and how evil is this going to make Gajiel? Roaring Thunder. Roaring Thunder, which means. I'm assuming that's going to mean uh, Loxus and jump over to his battle a lot. Poor Levy. Poor Levy. I'm afraid I couldn't tell you. Dragon Slayers do generally defy all logic and common sense, in my opinion. How dare you use my magic? This is a really cool idea. Uh, but like I said before, guys, I'm, I'm still pretty confused on the shadow itself. Like, is this somebody new? Like some actual like person as a shadow, or has it always been with Rogue, and this is just the shadow kind of taking taking over, being front and center in this battle, uh, being a little bit more ruthless than Rogue normally would be. I don't know. And so now, if Gajio took an eight part of the shadow, is it still? the same being kind of battling itself like part part of it's in rogue part of it's in gajio like really cool but i'm very confused so i'm hoping they will uh 
explain this a little bit more. He's pulling me out of my shadow. Oh man. I never dreamed he was this powerful. Say Iron Shadow Dragon. Ow. Done. <laughs> Catch him. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I guess not. He's done. I can't imagine him killing the winner Rogue. Is Gajil! <laughs> okay. Please stop. Yeah, that's creepy. It's you. He's hurt really bad. Please don't kill him. <laughs> don't worry. Fight's over, and that ain't my style. I lost. Good night. He doesn't remember the fight. That shadow. Something weird's going on. So the. Yeah, guys, I, I just I cannot for the life of me right now remember Rogue's battle with Natsu and like how much of his abilities were shown like yes. I'm just I'm fuzzy I'm blanking on that right now so I can't remember if he had shadow powers or what was going on with that or if this shadow is something brand new and just completely like a new player in the game basically that's going to cause problems Guess we'll find out I'm surprised these guys aren't all defeated already. <laughs> They're still being battled. I guess there's just so many. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. What was that? Oh, man, he's back. Oh, they're all back. Okay. It's good to see you again, but this will be the I guess last time. No. Their battle wasn't over. You were fooled to think you'd bested the kingdom's mightiest executioners. Very foolish. And the demons no longer with them. Call me in. He, 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 he. Guild wizards. Huh? I understand what compels you. I must carry out my obligation to the court. For your crimes against the kingdom, I will be collecting your head. Give me a break. Again? <laughs> we need to hurry. Yeah, that's my thoughts too. Like, the okay. Have joined the battle. I can't imagine them dragging out this battle right. with the executioners another four or five episodes, but who knows? Oh, we have Arcadios now getting his armor. This is gonna make Carla freak out with her, her, uh, you know, little glimpses that she's been having. I'm ordering you to tell me, sir. She's on the top floor. I need to clear up something that's troubling me. Yeah, hopefully. What I saw. Was surely not the tears of Hopefully he'll talk to the princess and we'll get a little if bit anyone is not telling the truth. It's the a little bit better answers and explanation. Oh goodness. There he goes. 
taking a nap. I'm sure he has some kind of plan in mind. Damn you. Urza is going to go to 11 and just and with that injury, go course, crazy. But she is injured. So we don't know how this is going to go. And somebody, like, come on, guys. Like, somebody needs to go get Tagra and get her to the hospital <laughs> because she's just going to bleed out on the floor at this point. I, She can't die. I don't want her to die. But that was a brutal, brutal attack from Minerva. And I'm just like, you're still on the ground? <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. Cutting over to this one. You're not as skilled as I am, but you are persistent. You still don't think I've got any skills, huh? Check this out. Uh, they have a huge history Juvia. growing up. I'm excited to see Juvia and Gray together tag teaming this fight. The last time they did that, it was a pretty cool attack. Good job, Shelly. Yeah, he's not gonna fight you, yeah. Careful. You're not allowed to hurt her. What? Leon's powerful. I really had no idea. Yeah, but he totally sucks at teamwork. Let's use that to our advantage. Oh, yeah, you know I love to feel the heat. So it looks cool too that okay, now it looks like they're gonna yeah. battle different executioners than they fought the first time. So I feel like maybe these battles will go very differently. They're gonna end faster. Okay, and yeah, now Wendy's gonna fight this guy just instead of Panther Lily. Maybe she'll get rid of that bottle. That's what I've been saying all along that Panther Lily needed to do, but didn't happen. Still has it. These guys can just go home. They don't even really need to be here. They're not doing anything. Yeah, Panther Lily's gonna... Oh, he's gonna go after this guy. Okay. What's wrong? This too much for you? Curious. They, I, I doubt it, but I no, feel like... I'm really curious a little bit if uh, Future Lucy has any of her keys. Of you jokers there are if they would be able to, like... We're gonna get out of here. Call... End of story. You can call multiple... Or way, they can't call the same... Down, that would just kind of create some weird paradox, but... I'm assuming she doesn't. Hold on, we've got another wizard joining the party, folks. It's the wizard saint Charanicus. All right, now yeah, this battle is going to be I hope you don't mind me quite interesting. It's simply too enticing to pass up. All three are so the monster the shows big guys and they're pretty <laughs> tough. Oh, that's be good. Let me a scale one this whole stick and turn him at the moment you're was chosen to participate. Those two little babies he just walked up to don't stand a chance against him! I wouldn't want to be them, that's for sure. I can't remember if they actually have shown him fight before or not. Let's see we know the other two have lightning powers. Oh, I'm, gonna give I'm you not a taste of my recalling what his abilities are. Let's answer the question that's on everyone's mind. Whose magic is stronger, a saint or a god slayer? Are you up for the challenge? You can walk away. Wizard Saint title just for show. I'll play. <laughs> Loxa should just let the two fight. Right into his trap. Watch and study him. He's actually falling for that? Don't do it! Jennifer, I'll spin you! You are spinning me! Here goes! Lightning God! Charge Particle Cannon! Oh man. So is that? Wow. I remember you now. You fought on the very first day of the games. Who is he done? Wow. That fight ended with one blow as well. Now that's done. Guess there's not a triple threat match. <laughs> that was a. Uh, Pretty surprising. In, a lot happened in this seven years that you were gone. 
Namely, Jura rose to be number five among the ten wizard saints. Yeah, and those four that are above him are totally impossible to beat. How dare you mention them? I'm fitting you! You are fitting me! Bibishkar <laughs> four. They're not even oh. human. Which means Jura is the most powerful. It's the tree head man system. from the openings. I reacted to my openings, guys, and that's definitely a character that stuck out. So they're I can do now, wizard boy. saints. Just watch and pray for the best. Oh, can he like slow down time? Is that one of his abilities or his main ability? So you can like see attacks before they happen. Be done. Down in a single blunt. I'm at a loss for words. He squashed him. Well, uh, that's one way to put it. In this world, there's always someone above you. Yeah, you're right oh, about not that. Not over yet. But what you seem to have forgotten is to pay close attention. Oh, our credits. Oh man. Oh, jeez. So. <laughs> This battle's not over yet with Loxus, so very curious to see how that's going to go. I'm, I'm still a little surprised that that other guy got defeated so quickly. I was expecting some crazy lightning battles going on with the two of them, but I guess he's out. So we're down to uh, three more matches, it looks like. We have Urza's match, we have Loxus's match, and we have Gray's match, and Ray Gray's Juvia's match against their respective uh, opponents. And it's, it's a toss-up, guys. It's, it's, I'm very curious and I'm e very eager to know who's going to come out on top and, and how and why. And I still can't help but think about there's um, that little premonition or the informant telling the princess how that she has the games are going to be ending in some crazy unforeseen way, which has me guess that Sting's involved because Sting is still yet to fight and not seen doing anything yet. Uh, he all he really kind of says is that he's gonna win for Lecter and get Lecter back and all that. So as far as what that means, we don't know yet. But I'm expecting to have some big surprise moment with him coming up. It's gonna uh, hope, assuming I guess now come in the next episode or a couple episodes from now. Um, but yeah, guys. So thank you so much. We're gonna end this after this episode. We're gonna stop this video. Uh, let's check out the preview for next episodes. Let's check it out. Sting. This has been a crazy ride, huh? <laughs> you can say that again. There's still some super tough folks left to take down, but we can do it right. You know it. Fairy tale is gonna take the top spot. Next time, time. Gloria. Gloria. I can practically taste victory. Come oh, on, guys. They win. Juvie and Gray win. We're counting on you. Oh, and Sting's upset. Oh my gosh. Okay. So <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. Um, all right, guys. So we're going to stop it again, guys. So thank you for so much for hanging out with me if you stuck around this long. Uh, please give this video a like, guys, if you've enjoyed what you've seen. And uh, let me know in the comments below what your favorite moments of these episodes were. Uh, if you are enjoying uh, two episodes in a video, if you want to go me to go back to three or have it maybe be one at a time, um, I'm kind of playing the field with that a little bit. So we're going to kind of see how things go. But we're going to uh, move on hopefully soon with another fairy tale reaction. So be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.